up guys, Shadjuice here. Back at you with another video game finds video. I got a lot of stuff to show you. We got pawn shops, yard sales, uh, a couple uh, Craigslist pickups. First, we're going to do, uh, let's go to the pawn, stop, pawn shop stuff first. I got a couple uh, DS games. They were uh, three ninety nine a piece. I was already buying a couple things, and uh, I asked the lady to see these DS games behind the counter because I didn't see them at first. And then uh, there was actually a few good games in there. So uh, let me show you what I got. We got a uh, Star Fox. We got a. Uh, Mario and Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story. Again, these were $3.99 each. I also got a Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS, but I already got rid of it, so. They also had uh, picked up South Park to Stick of Truth for the 360. I think that was five bucks. At another pawn shop, I picked up uh Left 4 Dead 2, finally. I had this back in the day. I still had it sealed, and I sold it for like 30-something bucks. I just needed the money at the time. But uh, I'm happy to get that back, finally, at a decent price. Uh, and also, at that uh, pawn shop, I got Mario Kart on the DS for uh, 5 bucks. And at a different one, I got a... Uh, Fours of six on the Xbox One for uh, fifteen bucks. It's got a little uh, damage on the cover in there. I guess somebody put a sticker on it or something. But for fifteen bucks, that ain't bad. It's still going thirty-five, forty dollar game. And then it had a it had a code to get the uh, Own and Drive uh, the ten year anniversary cars. And nobody used the code, so that worked. So that was awesome. But uh, that's all I got for the thrifts or the pawn shops right now. Uh, I'll show you what I picked up at the yard sales. I didn't find a whole lot, so I'm not going to make a separate yard sale video. Maybe in the future. Just There just wasn't a whole lot of yard sales going on. It was just few and far between and just really weird sales. People wasn't ready and weird weird stuff. But, uh, I'll show you the games I got. I got a Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition. And this comes with the Undead Nightmare. It's a two-disc set. Got that for two bucks, so that was a steal right there. I don't have these yet, so. I don't have the manual, but it's got both discs. So that was a cool addition to the collection there. Uh, and this was a deal uh, I got for five bucks. I got a uh, no, no, no. That's a different one. Where to go? There it is. <laughs> All right, we got a uh, Pokemon Gold for the uh, Game Boy, and I got a few Ninja Turtle figures. We got a uh, original Rocksteady. We got Krang. This is awesome. I've been wanting this for years. An original. It's missing like the guns or whatever to come off of here, but it's still pretty cool. Not in too bad a shape. Glad to get that. And then I got a Michelangelo Michelangelo motorcycle. For the Pokemon and the two figures and bike was five bucks. Pretty good deal. But yeah, that's it for garage sales. There wasn't much going on. Then uh, let's uh, show you these other pickups I got. This pickup, I got a Nintendo 64 system. I ain't going to show you that. You guys have seen that. It did come with an expansion pack, which I'm keeping the expansion pack and putting it in the, my colored systems I got over there. I want to have a expansion pack in all three for some goofy reason so 
I only need one more expansion pack, and then I got one in each of them, so. That's cool. Uh, came with three controllers. We got a gray. We got a blue. And an atomic purple. And uh, I'll show you the games that came with them. This uh, deal was 50 bucks. Pretty good deal if you ask me. We got a uh, Namco Museum. We got Spider-Man. Found a couple copies of that recently. We got Paperboy. Star Fox. WWF No Mercy. Mickey Speedway USA. Another copy of Star Fox. So I just wonder why sometimes people have two copies of the same game and they both work, so it wasn't because they bought one because they quit working. We got a uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. That was probably the best game I got. Mario Golf. These are the games I didn't have from my collection, so I'm adding these to the collection. We got a uh, Shadowgate Trials of the Four Towers. Twisted Edge uh, Extreme Snowboarding. Star Soldier Vanishing Earth. Wipeout 64. And Tonic Trouble. I couldn't uh, get the marker off of this one very good for some reason. I still, if I go get it like a. Uh, the Magic Eraser, he'll probably get it off of there. Same mess with it. So, yeah, that was a pretty good pickup right there. And uh, the last pickup I got, we ended up making a deal for 75 bucks. And I told him this to bring one of the rest of the stuff he had. If I see if there are any other games I wanted to get. So, for 85 bucks, I got. This lot of stuff, it's a bunch of stuff and a big stack of game GameCube games here. But uh, I'll show you the PlayStation 1 stuff I got first. And a lot of these discs are pretty scratch up, so I don't know if they work yet. We got a Battle Arena to Shinden, not for resale. We got Digimon World. Which well, that's a pricey game. It's got a Blockbuster sticker on it. Like I said, they're pretty scratched up, so. We'll see if they work or not. If not, maybe I can get them resurfaced or somebody else can. Got Dynasty Warrior 6. And Digimon World 3. Got uh, one Dreamcast game, Sonic Adventure. Complete. This was in actually pretty good shape. Um, we got uh, one Super Nintendo game, Batman Forever. I picked out a couple 64 games. We got Cruising the World, Micro Machine 64 Turbo, which I don't have that, so I'm adding that to the collection. We got Deadly Arts, so I don't have that one either. Got a couple NES games. So Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. It's got a little damage to it. Got uh, Dr. Mario. couple Game Boy games. We got Super Mario Land. I don't think I have the first one. I got the second one. So I'll be adding that. 
uh, Pokemon Yellow. I don't know if the save batteries work yet. I still got to try them. Hopefully they do, but I doubt it. Uh, I guess I'll show this first before the GameCube stack. Picked up a uh, Night Trap for the 32X. I got it for Sega CD, but I don't have it for 32X. Got uh, both discs here. They're actually in pretty good shape, so that's cool. Oh, all right, guys. I got a. I'll show you the stack here. These are all GameCube games. There's like 30 something of them, so I'll try to go through them quick. I don't want to bore you guys too much. But like I said, uh, there's no like mint discs. They got scratches on them, so not sure if they're gonna work or not. First up, we got Torak Evolution. 007 Nightfire. Zelda Ocarina of Time. That's probably came in a two disc thing, I think. Midway Arcade Treasures 2. There's some decent games in there. Wallace and Gromit and Project Zoo. Blood Rain. Double O seven everything or nothing. You got Zelda Wind Waker, which I don't have this one for my collection yet. I don't think. I either don't have this one or Twilight Princess, I can't remember. Uh Die Hard Vendetta. Good old Super Smash Brothers Melee. Hopefully that one works good because that'd be a good recouper. Cause I already have that game. We got uh, Lego Star Wars. Got Soul Calibur 2. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Try to move a little quicker. Just Resident Evil Disc 2. I don't have Disc 1. Metroid Prime. Geist. Don't know what that is. Spyro Enter the Dragon. I think I might have that. I like I used to love the Spyro games. Shark Tale. Spider Man. Super Monkey Ball. Mario Party 5, which that was the only Mario Party I needed, so I'm going to keep that. Hopefully get a case someday. Got Yu-Gi-Oh! Something, something, something. NCAA 2004. Heather Hadley, some junk, I don't know what the hell it is. WWF, Day of Reckoning. Eternal Darkness. That one's a little pricey. 007, everything or nothing again. Lost Kingdoms 2. Vex. Major League Baseball 2K6. We're almost done here, guys. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Super Mario Sunshine times two. And Star Fox Adventures. So yeah, that was a huge stack of GameCube games. Like I said, I haven't tested none of them yet. They're all pretty scratched, so. He was happy with what I paid for them, so it's all good. Like I said, none of these disc games are guaranteed at all because they're all pretty scratched up, so. That's all I got game-wise, guys. I do have some movies I picked up if anybody's interested. If not, thanks for watching the video. We only got five. It'll go pretty quick. We got an old one uh, here, Bushwhacked. I haven't seen this in years, and I never see it pop up anywhere. 
So we're going to check that out here. We got uh, Lucy here with uh, Scarlett Johansson and Morgan Freeman. I've been wanting to watch this, so I picked that up for a buck at the pawn shop. Same pawn shop. Got American Sniper for a buck. I got it on Blu-ray already, so I'm going to give this one to my dad. We got uh, Fight Club here on Blu-ray. This was brand new. I just opened it. And last but not least, we got uh, Gran Torino with Clint Eastwood. It's a good movie. So that's it, guys. I know it was a little longer video. I had a lot to show you guys. Getting a lot of stuff here lately. But uh hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, drop some comments and hit the like button, guys. I'd really appreciate it. If not, it's cool. Thanks for hanging out with me and checking out what I got. I hope you guys are out there, whether you're a Hot Wheel fan or a video game collector. Hope you guys are finding some cool stuff. Take it easy. Peace.